During the Pleistocene epoch, giant beasts roamed North America. One of the most terrifying of them all was Panthera atrix, aka the American cave lion. Its fossils have been excavated from Alaska to Mexico. Genetic analysis has shown that the American lion was 25% larger than the modern lion. Panthera atrix means cruel panther in Latin. With its crushing jaw bite, it could even take down bison. Preserved skin remains found with skeletal material indicate that the animal was reddish in color. Can you imagine what it must have been like 11,000 years ago walking in the plains of North America and seeing an adult American lion stalking you? Like the modern lion, it lived in savannas and grasslands. But this beast shared the habitat with another terrifying monster during the Pleistocene epoch, the North American short-faced bear, aka Arctotus simus. Now, let's see how these two creatures compare in size. The American lion is estimated to have measured up to 2.5 meters or 8 feet and 2 inches in length, while the North American short-faced bear's length was 2.9 meters or 9.5 feet in length. The American lion reached a height of about 1.3 meters or almost 4.3 feet tall. Heavy adult male cave lions could weigh up to 350 kilograms or 772 pounds. But a study in 2012 showed that they could reach up to 523 kilograms or 1153 pounds. But it's still no match for a whopping 950 kilogram or 2,094 pounds of pure muscle, bone and fat of Arctotus simus. While the modern living relative of the American lion is known as the king of the jungle, it's clear who was the king of the grasslands during the Pleistocene of North America. But during this epoch, there was an even larger bear than the North American short-faced bear, Arctotherium angustidens, aka the South American short-faced bear, reaching an estimated standing height from 3.4 to 4.3 meters or 11 to 14 feet and weighing 1,749 kilograms or 3,856 pounds, making it the largest mammalian land carnivore ever known. In the wild, size does matter. And I think a cave lion would try to avoid contact with Arctotherium at all costs. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for new videos.